Okay, so now in this video we will add the horizontal and vertical movement to our camera. So as you can see this is the script for our main camera. So let's just open this up and then right here at the top let's create a header and let's name this as camera controller. Then in order to store the rotation x and y value of the main camera let's create a float by the name of root x or you can say rotation x and then the next one will be the root y or rotation y then right here inside this update function we will say root x plus equals to input dot get axis and we want to get the mouse y right here and then for the root y or rotation y we will say plus equals to input dot get axis and this time we will use the mouse x and you guys will be thinking where this mouse y and mouse x come from if you get back to unity right here if you click on edit then project settings right here in the input manager okay inside this axis you will notice the mouse x input right here and the mouse y and you guys will also be thinking that for the rotation x we use the mouse y and for the rotation y we use the mouse x this is because when we for example when we move our mouse from the left side to the right or from the right to the left side we don't want the main camera to move up and down we want the main camera to move to the left and right side just like the mouse movement okay so that's why for the rotation x we use the mouse y and then for the rotation y we use the mouse x so now we have the input for the rotation now what we want to do we want to now rotate our camera so first of all we will create a variable by the name of target rotation and in here we will say quaternion dot Euler right here for the x-axis we will pass the root x then for the y we will pass the root y or rotation y and then for the z we will pass 0 because we don't want to rotate our main camera on the z-axis okay and as you know that quaternion dot Euler returns a rotation that rotates the z degrees around the z axis and the y degrees around the y axis and this z degrees around the z axis okay now right here after this minus sign we will call the target rotation variable right here and we will multiply that by this gap between the player and the main camera then right down below we will say transform dot rotation and as you know when we use the transform dot rotation it will get the rotation of that game object on which this script is attached so as you know that this script is attached to our main camera so the main camera rotation will be now equals to the target rotation that is it so now if we save the script and get back to unity right here we have the player and the main camera ok now let's just click on this game window right here and then change this from play focus to play maximize ok so now whenever we play our game it will be in the full screen as you can see ok so now as you can see when we move our mouse up and down the camera is moving up and down and if you move it to the left and right side as you can see it is moving left and right as well okay so now we have the camera rotation right here but if we move the main camera right down below the player as you can see the camera rotates around the player on 360 and we actually don't want that we want some limitation to the main camera so that the main camera 
doesn't rotate around the player on the 360 angles okay so that we will be doing in the next video in this video you learn how to add a rotation to your main camera